what's up guys Naresh here welcoming you all back into another video and in today's video we are having a look into one of the cheapest Wi-Fi 6 router you can buy to have a better upgrade from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 for sure it's available from Honor Router 3 and capable to deliver Wi-Fi 6 plus with 300 megabits per second speed with dual core 1.6 Hz CPU but that's not it come with so many features and improvement if compared with the Wi-Fi 5 starting with the three times faster speed support 1024 QAM and 160 Hz of frequency bandwidth which can go up to speed of 300 megabits per second nearly three times of Wi-Fi 5 for large capacity QFDMA multi-user technology allow you to multiple devices to share the same spectrum which is four times more than a Wi-Fi 5 actually and honestly speaking there are so many claims as well now first to start with within this video we're going to check out what come with this Honor Router 3 following with the configuration and the performance test which will give you a better idea that will that be a good upgrade from going your old Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 by using this Honor Router 3 now with this Honor Router 3 you are getting one one meter long Ethernet cable, a 12 watt UK power adapter, multi language supporting quick startup guide and a warranty card and in last but not least Honor Wi-Fi 6 Plus Router 3 which is to start with very sleek in design and fit the decor of anywhere we placed. It will definitely suit the decor and won't look ugly at all like other routers we have in house. Now all four beefed up antennas are very easy to swell out. Over in the middle of the router you have a WPS button. There is a WPS button on top of the router as well as the manufacturer logo. Status indicator light is also available which is in the front. Now over on the back of router you have access for power port for powering up your router, van port for connecting your internet and a 3 LAN 1 GB ports with the reset pin as well if you'd like to restore your router to the factory default setting. Under the base of router you're going to have an access for all the information you need to configure this router first time as well as the QR code for Huawei AI life application which will help you to set this router on a click of a one button now this router can only be placed on the flat surface there's no implication to install this router over on a wall under the base you also going to notice some of the air vents for the cross air ventilation making sure that router is not getting hotter at all while running the Wi-Fi 6 around your house all antennas on the router can only be closed and open you cannot turn them around at all it's a fixed design from the side of design honestly speaking I'm pretty much impressed with this Honor Router 3 now it's time to look into this configuration and the performance well now it's time to go ahead with the process of configuring this router 3 which is very easy and straightforward the first thing you need to make sure that all antennas are open router is powered up with the internet connection power connection internet those are all open now once router is successfully powered up you're going to see status indicator light red color which means it's ready to configure or there's no internet connection availability and internet connection availability will be only be done once you finish the configuration process and there are two ways to configure this router one is by using the Huawei AI life application available for Android as well as for iOS users or if you are on computer you can straight away go on to the web access too if you want to which is very easy and straightforward too now first thing you need to do on your mobile phone is to connect with the Wi-Fi network of your Honor router which will be with the SSID of Honor available under the base of your router once you are connected with it you can straight away get the sign on the top which you can log in to set up the Wi-Fi router by using the internet browser or by using the AI life application now within your AI life application your router should be actually available to start with but if it's not there no need to worry about it click onto the plus button on the top you're going to get the configuration option straight away simply go through that at time to time I have noticed that the application and the configuration of router is taking little longer 
Now the second stage of configuration would be to create the Wi-Fi credentials and in here you can actually select it that would you like to have an auto switching on and off between Wi-Fi 5 and 6 or what sort of SSID you would like to use as well. You can also create the administration password to access the, and change the settings of your router. Once you've done it all, you can just simply click on to the next button as well. The option of the backup support is also available as well if you would like to do it. But I have already got the Wi-Fi 5 uh, Wi-Fi network as well, so I prefer only Wi-Fi 6. So I'm going to click on to the next button. At this stage, everything is fully configured with your router and you're also going to see the status indicator in the front of your router will be going green too. Now, simply connect with your router and off you go. The whole router system is successfully configured and good to go. If you'd like to see what settings are offered within the application, simply by going into your AI Life, typing in the, your administration password, which we created, you'll be straight on to the main router setting area, where it's going to show you each and everything available for your router to configure. Here is also going to show you the download and upload speed currently running on it and how many devices are connected. So as the parental control and a diagnostic along with the guest the Wi-Fi login too. And if you like to access more setting by clicking on to the show more, you can straight away go into the more settings area where you're going to get an option for update your router, which is pretty much easy and straightforward. Whenever a new firmware is available, you can actually download it and get the latest and greatest feature right available for you the next option available is for the high link which is if you have got a huawei mobile phone works great on them and wi-fi management option is also available in here where you can set the password for your wi-fi signal strength check as well that how would you like to use and what level you would like to go for following with the wi-fi quality option that what channel is it been using and that only applies to 2.4, not to 5 at all. So technically, if you're using 2.4 gigahertz of Wi-Fi, you can use this section and optimize your Wi-Fi network. Next option you have is a Wi-Fi relay, which is like an extending the range of your Wi-Fi. You can use two of these router trees in different different areas and create a mesh network option of enabling WPS. So you do not need to go to the router to press this button in the front of it. And a button to turn off Wi-Fi 5 backup option. You can turn it on if you do not have Wi-Fi 6 compatible devices available at your home. Now it's not only settings for the Wi-Fi management are available in here. You have more control on your network settings as well. Starting with the type of internet connection. Option for DHCP. PPPOE is also available. So as the WAN if you want to. IPv6 option is also available if you have got a supporting networks too. Then is a router settings, which is more to do with your reset router, set the timers to restart, router indicator light, which is in the front of it, login management and a time zone if you'd like to set on your router too. Pretty much easy and straightforward kind of a settings. Now within the app, I was expecting I'm going to have a less amount of settings, but there's a huge amount to be honest with you. Now if you'd like to see more about it you can actually log in to its web page the process of configuring router 3 was easy and straightforward now it's time for us to go ahead with the performance and i'll be using my mi 10t pro 5g which is compatible and come with the wi-fi 6 built-in as well now here i have two wi-fi network one which supports 2.4 and 5 gig another one which supports all of it starting with the 2.4 5 and 6 actually and you can actually see a little 6 vention on the Wi-Fi signal as well within performance we will be checking internet speed at a different different levels now at this moment of now within performance test we will be checking internet speed at different different areas within the house and I will be mentioning to you that where I am and what network I am using now to start with I am in my living room and Wi-Fi router is three meters away from the mobile phone for sure. And let's go ahead with the internet speed test.
over on Wi-Fi 5, 3 meters away from the router, we are getting download speed of 319 and upload of 35.0 with the internet connection which I have is about 350 megabits per second. Let's change the connection to Wi-Fi 6 and start the internet speed test. We are getting download speed of 248 megabits per second with upload of 34.1 on Wi-Fi 6 with the ping time of 8 milliseconds and the jitter of 3. We are on Wi-Fi 5, ping time of 10 milliseconds and a jitter of 2 milliseconds. 5G internet speed on first floor of the house and it's around 15 meters away from the Wi-Fi router. Well, we are getting download speed of 319 with upload of 36.3 with a ping time of 10 milliseconds and a jitter of 3 milliseconds. Now let's change the connection from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6. And we are exactly at the same place. Let's go for a speed test again. Well, here is the result of Wi-Fi 6 of internet speed. We are getting download speed of 206 with the upload of 36.4 with the ping time of 12 milliseconds and a jitter of a 1 millisecond. Well, now here I am 20 meters away from the router, which is a Wi-Fi 5 and I'm connected with it. Let's go ahead and do the speed test. We are getting download speed of 52.7 megabits per second along with the upload of 30 and ping time of 10 milliseconds with the jitter of 13 milliseconds. Now let's change on to the Wi-Fi 6. Wow, that's not just a wow of being uh, so happy but it's being surprised to get the download speed of only 21.2 megabits per second with the upload of 0 0.51 and the ping time of 11 millisecond with the jitter of 16 milliseconds. Honestly speaking, I'm very much surprised to see the results. My Wi-Fi 5, which is already installed at home, is performing way better than all new Wi-Fi 6 plus. How is that possible? Am I missed anything in terms of configuration? which is not performing very well or did something strange. I have seen a lot of videos over on YouTube. A lot of people are saying that this is perfect. This is fantastic. It's a fantastic internet connection of the router actually. But honestly speaking, I cannot say the same word at all because I have not really seen it performing better at all. Well, here we are in the end of this video, which is kind of a conclusion part that what I think actually about this Honor Router 3 and is it worth upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 using this Honor Router 3? Well, answer to this is very simple. Not at this stage, to be honest with you. I personally will be checking some other manufacturer who provide the Wi-Fi 6 router capabilities but the Honor Router 3 will not be the one of them for sure. I have not seen a really great deal of improvement at all if I compared with the Wi-Fi network I have currently which is Wi-Fi 5. I have seen the speed of it and honestly speaking I have shown you the results guys. Wi-Fi 5 performed way better than Wi-Fi 6 in my case. I don't know, am I making any mistakes in here? But I don't think so to be honest with you. This did not work very well for me for sure. Now, will I recommend this? I don't think so. Guys, you won't believe me. Everybody was praising about this Honor Router 3. And when it came on a deal, I just bought it. And I am disappointed with it. I cannot compare its quality with my standard Wi-Fi 5 router. A standard one. It's not even a net gear, guys. So that would be all from my side, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you still have any more questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you think I made any mistake, please let me know in the comment section down below too. That would be all, guys. Thank you. Bye. See ya.